Okay, can you hear me in the back? Yeah. Okay, hey, just a couple things here. The first thing is, I'm glad to see you out here tonight. I love your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to put what we just heard on the media in a little context. Because we should be gathering tonight not to celebrate the death of someone, but to celebrate the life of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines. <laughs> the past 10 years, the United States Armed Forces and lots of others who have served overseas in the campaigns in both Iraq and Afghanistan have borne a tremendous burden. They have demonstrated each and every day the values of the United States Army, the values of West Point, and those, those young men and women who all of you at some point are going to be privileged to lead are the ones we should be thinking about tonight. They're the ones who we should be celebrating. And they're the ones we can never forget. Let me just tell you something that happened today that will put this in even bigger context. Not too many hours ago, I was down in Harriman, New York, down in Central Valley. We were doing a memorial service there to name a road after Lieutenant Emily J.T. Perez, our first female graduate from West Point to be killed in Iraq a couple years ago. She was a magnificent leader of character. Each year she lettered on the track team. She did all kinds of great things here at West Point. She was the brigade sergeant major. A great young example of the kind of selfless service and sacrifice that we have in our armed forces in every service from every source of commissioning and who have been taking up the burden of the nation for the past decade. So tonight, put your focus where it belongs in remembering that kind of sacrifice. And think about the great privilege that all of you, all of you will have some very soon, and some in a couple months and some in a couple years, of leading the great young men and women of the armed forces of the United States many of whom will continue to be in harm's way when it becomes your turn to lead them. That's the message of tonight, that the fight goes on, and that we can never forget that our ability to gather in a wonderful place like West Point on a beautiful evening like tonight is underwritten by the tremendous courage, competence, compassion of those great young and men and men and women who are serving around the world tonight for our freedoms. So go out and, and enjoy this moment, but do it for the right reason, and that is to remember the sacrifice of our troops, the troops that you will be privileged to command very, very soon. I'm proud of all of you, and I'm equally proud of the sacrifice of the armed forces of the United States. Oh! Oh!